So I just tried out ChatGPT 4.0 um, and it's Omni and it's, you know, it's a pretty big update. I would say it feels more human-like. It's not quite like uh, we're at the point where it's just AGI, though so it's, a, it's a language model, right? It's taking in your inputs and it's faster. There's less delay when you talk to it and it seems like it's more uh, better at describing and talking to humans. It feels like I'm talking to like, you know, a, a, a well-informed um, college professor, right? It seems like, I don't know, maybe it was just the types of questions I was asking that it was sort of playing along with that. Okay, you AI, chat GPT-4. Are you really AGI yet, question mark? No. I am not an artificial general intelligence. I am a highly specialized AI known as a language model designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the data I was trained on. AGI would have the ability to understand, learn, and apply knowledge across a wide range of tasks at a level comparable to human intelligence. While I could perform a variety of language-related tasks, my abilities are limited to the patterns and information present in my training data. <clears throat> it's a pretty good response. Um, I'm gonna put that in mind. Let's ask it another question. Um, take like something um, challenging. Um, like, let's ask it a legal question, and then I'm just going to take this part of it and see if it can predict the last part of it. Fill in the rest of this writing act as my legal assistant this is extremely verbose this is too much stop 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 what are you doing Oh my gosh, it's writing out the entire, uh, the entire thing. Um, now I have to see if it's right or not. Recommendation about possible legal rights for mediation defense options, sex reform strategies. This template is intended to serve as a general guide. It should be tailored to your specific business needs. It is strongly recommended that you consult with a qualified attorney to ensure that this operating agreement fully complies with the laws of your state and adequately addresses the unique circumstances of your operating agreement. So, all that I said was... Alright, let's just see if this actually makes sense. Uh, formation, name, principal office, purpose... Members, initial members, admission of new members, management, structure, duties and responsibilities. This is like, um, like you don't need to have that, you don't need to have section two or section, th yeah, initial capital contributions. This is also not needed. Article five, you don't need, uh, 
So that's like, this is just being too, uh, too talkative, you know? Winding up, what the fuck? <laughs> Winding up. Upon dissolution, the remaining assets shall be distributed and pay off any LLC liabilities. Distribute the members in accordance amendments. This already agreement may be, okay, it's just, um, signed and agreed by the following members, et cetera, et cetera. Like, if you go back to this, this is the actual operating agreement. Um, it just says formation, purpose, registered office, term, uh, and cap, well, it does have capital contributions. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, but then there's also these other sections too that it missed. Books, records, tax returns, bank accounts. See, so look at section 11, section 12, section 13, section 14. Oh, it missed all this. Section 15. Oh, shit. Yeah, it missed a lot of this. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, that missed about... Um, A lot of stuff on uh, disclosures for exceptions. Uh, now let's add some more bylaws. Thank you for your let's put a section of discloses for exceptions, ensuring the operating agreement comprehensive due justice. Here's a revision. The following corporate bylaw. Uh, na 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 for no mission. members members management structure duties and responsibilities decision making capital contributions um, distributions dissolution events by dissolution winding up amendments uh It looks like it's got cut off here. Uh, you can see it says weather on the end. The entire agreement, the operating agreement, constitutes the entire agreement among members. Members supersedes all prior understandings and agreements, weather, et cetera, et cetera. I don't know. Cool. Hey, ChatGPT, um, what's new? <laughs>